we ran a pilot scheme before Christmas of having a GP working in the emergency department and assessing patients who turned up there during the day. And we had people who turned up with all sorts of things like coughs and colds, sinusitis, minor falls and bumps and bruises which really didn't need to go to the emergency department at all. We were actually quite surprised by the results because we found that up to 70% of patients that saw the GP in A&E could actually have seen their home GP. Um, and um, although we expected it would be a high proportion, that was even more than we thought. The benefit to the patient is that they can be seen at the right place and at the right time and they could actually perhaps have more useful uh, information and advice from their local GP or pharmacist because he or she knows that patient better. We have to remember that most GPs have been working in and around York for many, many years and they have years of experience. So by and large, unless it's a real accident or a, or a true emergency, then you're probably better off seeking the advice of your GP in the first instance. Should you then need to go to hospital, the GP can of course facilitate that, can either arrange an ambulance or speak to casualty and arrange for you to be seen uh, fairly quickly. So overall, you're actually going to be wasting less time by seeing the GP. We need to spend every pound of the NHS budget very wisely. I don't think patients realise that a visit to A&E costs on average £117. That's £117 extra to the NHS budget locally. And we are certain that money could be spent more wisely and uh, priorities could be addressed. We want people to think before they go straight to A&E. There are people there who, who need quite serious treatment and if the staff are taken up by assessing and triaging people who don't really need to be there then that will have an impact on those who are more seriously ill and do need the specialist treatment which is available in the emergency department. Well, hay fever is one that we see several times. Also, simple coughs and colds. It's a little frustrating for us when someone has sat in the waiting room for three hours. They come through and we have to tell them, I'm sorry, it's simply paracetamol and plenty of fluids. And it is very difficult then to have to justify that three hour wait to those patients. Other things like ear syringing or three week long knee injuries and other, injury, other injuries or conditions where in fact they've already been consulting the GP and they just decided they wanted another opinion. You can always have another opinion from your, another GP in the practice. So you don't necessarily have to come to the emergency department for that. It hopefully means that we can actually really use our specialist skills on the really sick people and other patients who need our skills. And then it means we see less patients who don't need to sit here in our waiting room or don't need to consult us. It just generally makes healthcare more efficient across the board.